What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, Soul Squad? Welcome to the kitchen. You saw that thumbnail with that juicy, moist meatloaf, okay? Barbecue voiceover because it's Sunday and there's a lot of football going on. Hit that intro! Okay, guys, we got some ground beef. We're about to season it. We're going to start off with a little bit of um, garlic pepper, I believe. That's what's going in here. And we're doing a lot because we miss a lot of ground beef, so you want it well seasoned. But I do season my ground beef at least twice through this whole process. You're going to see me do it again. So I love using garlic powder, um, onion powder, uh, black pepper. And remember, your kitchen, you don't have to use exactly what I use. Whatever it takes to make your meat taste seasoned and flavorful. Remember, your kitchen your way, my kitchen my way. I even put a little bit of Italian seasons up in there and some seasoned salt. No, I don't use eggs because I got another binder that I love throwing up in here to get that meatloaf so nice and juicy. Now, those are breadcrumbs. I put maybe a cup of breadcrumbs into it. This is craft mayonnaise. Now, you don't have to use mayonnaise um, as far as craft, but that's what we like to use in our family. So, I do maybe a half a cup of craft mayonnaise in here. I'm just measuring out with a spoon. And then, what you're going to do, because this helps it moist and delicious. I'm telling you, if you never put any mayonnaise in um, your meatloaf, you will after this video, okay? So, we're going to add in some green peppers and onions because I'm telling you, this is all about flavor. Um, upping your meat up to the next level. So, let's get our gloves on and we're going to do what? We're going to stir this meatloaf up. We're just going to put it all up in there and combine it. Yes. And the only reason I wore gloves this time, because sometimes I'm not doing something this messy, you know, I'll put some gloves on. But typically, honey, they ain't put gloves on back in the old days. You ain't got to. If you ain't got none, don't let it stop you from making this meatloaf. Just get it all up in there. You just want to stir up all them green peppers and those onions. Now, y'all know I am not a fan of onions and stuff. But when it comes to a recipe, when it comes to making food taste good, you want everybody to be like, damn, this meat does taste great. Go ahead, throw those peppers and onions. And remember, it's your kitchen. How much onions and how much green peppers you want in your meatloaf is up to you. But just remember just to flip and push down. It's almost like you needing the meat. Low so that you get all of those flavors and all that mayonnaise just all up in there. And I'm going to do this for a few seconds. So I'm just wiping that bowl. And as I'm doing it, I'm scraping the sides of the bowl. I'm pushing down and flipping. And then what's going to happen is that we're going to round two. Remember, this is ground beef, so it needs lots of seasoning. So I'm putting everything in here that I put in here on the first round, guys. So this is round two, We're adding all those same seasoning. And don't nobody say, it's too much seasoning. No. The majority of these seasonings are powdered. I think I use one thing and that's seasoned salt. That's it. So it's really not too salt. It's not salty. It's not um, over um, saturated with the salt. The flavors just came out so perfect. And a quick pro tip anytime you're not sure about your seasoning, pinch off a piece of your hamburger meat, fry it on top of the stove, and then you can taste it that way. Now, I'm going to be cooking in a aluminum pan because at the end of the day, who <laughs> like doing dishes? Not me. And so we can continue to flip. Because remember, we on that second batch of seasoning, okay? So we continue to flip this again. Again, like I said before, we want to get everything up in here. We want this hamburger to be very, very flavorful. So I'm just flipping her over, honey. Like somebody flipped you over last night and didn't even tell you about it. <laughs> Alright, so we just gonna go ahead. We're gonna mash this hamburger up. We're gonna make it into a perfect shape, okay? Now, if you want it long and skinny like you, or short and fat like you, you know how you like it. Make that meatloaf that way. <laughs> I'm 
gonna explain, y'all, because y'all know I ain't been on here in a while. I need I need to laugh. And if I can make somebody date and make you guys laugh in this video, I'm gonna go for it, okay? And with no disrespect, I'm just being funny. All right, so that meatball was being shaped up the way I wanted. You know, so I did it in the pan because this is the pan I'm going to be cooked in there. So we transferred from that bowl into that pan. So let me just finish, finish patting her down, getting her ready for I'm going to finish patting her down, y'all, get her ready for the oven. As soon as I find a little more full. Now, if you're anything like me and you can't find a little more full, don't even worry about Because this baby going to cook on 350 for an hour and 30 minutes. Or even an hour and 15 minutes until you come back and take it out and she going to look like this. I let her cook like maybe an hour and 30 hour 120 I actually put the timer over on this then I add that baby ray barbecue sauce remember your kitchen your way you add any barbecue sauce you want place her back in the oven for the remaining 20 minutes total this meatloaf cooked two hours and when I say this thing came out delicious y'all look at this meatloaf at the end it came out delicious. I'm just baiting her with some of that extra barbecue sauce on the side. And yes, do, um, I did dump off grease. So I don't want you to think that this meatloaf did not make grease because it is ground beef. When I took it out the first time to add the barbecue sauce, I most definitely drained the grease off. And then when I took it out the second time, it had some grease. But y'all, look how she cut. It is done. And I know you might like yours a little bit meat. Y'all look at it. I might be double playing this. I'm not for sure. But <laughs> it came out so good. She cut beautifully. She tastes amazing. It is so nice and plump and soft and tender. When I say this meatloaf was juicy, it was juicy. All the flavor was there. And yes, this is my piece. Somebody said, oh my gosh, she poking the food. Go get somebody. No, that's that's me. That's going directly to me. So with all that being said, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. See you guys in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. All right, so Scott, I am out.